Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Friday, which means it is time for Fridays with Fred. What? It's amazing. So today is the last day of school for chomps. So we've had a busy, busy week. Yesterday we had internet in the whole city had gone down. So it was pretty crazy. What happened was one of, we have like two internet providers in town really you know there, there might be some smaller ones but um for one of the major ones there was a junction downtown that blew and they tried to reroute because i mean if you think about it the internet is like a big old pipe system it's like the pipes in your house and there are some main junctions where things go through and so one of those went down they tried to reroute through others while they fixed the one that was broken and they kept blowing other junctions <laughs> so it was a cascading failure and pretty much the entire city had no internet so it was like i had to take the kids to an eye appointment yesterday and they did the exams and they're like yeah we we can't bill you we don't know anything um we'll run it when everything's back up and let you know <laughs> so I'm like, okay um but yeah, it was wild. It was crazy. The whole city was like, the school district was down, like phones were down everywhere. Insanity. So, yep. So I didn't come on on Thursday because I couldn't. And um, so I couldn't do things we're making Thursday. So we're going to do kind of a combo. That's what I'm getting at. I'm blibber blabbering here, but I'm trying to get to the fact that we're doing a combo. combo. So we're doing Fridays with Fred. Then we're going to do the things we're making Thursday and Fingers crossed, I also couldn't work on the um, slideshow for the Creator Spotlight, which is supposed to be drawn today. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it done today, but like I said, it's last day of school. It's a lot of stuff going on, and we're going to celebrate chomps first and foremost today. I apologize, but family first. So it might be a day or two late on the Creator Spotlight. I apologize again. Um... Also in that vein, for the things we're making Thursday, I am not organized with everyone's pictures they sent me. So again, I will, I'll move that forward. I will share the pictures, but uh, when plans go awry, they go awry. We, and there's nothing to do but just go with the flow. No reason to stress out or get worried. Everything will work out. But how are things working on my things... Fridays with Fred Project. Well, pretty darn good. Um, last week I mentioned I was five rows behind. I was able to catch up, so I made up those five rows, but I have not done the rows for today. So we're on, we're on, on pace here. I have all of the ends woven in for the last color change. And I have, so this paw print here was where we ended last time. So I've done these three. I have one more color block row and the main body is done. That's amazing. So I should finish that on Saturday and then I just have to do, where's the other end? So there's this end border. The same border is gonna mir be mirrored on the other end. And then I have to pick up the stitches on the side and do the side border. So we are so close to the end on this one. We are so close. And it is gijumbus, but it's fun. Um, so some of my ends have kind of been roughed up. I'm going to block it, and then I'm going to deal with cleaning all of that stuff up. It, When it's blocked, the stitches will relax, and it will be better for me to figure out how I can fix them. Um but that's okay. When something is worked on this long, that's bound to happen. I'm going to move up the stitch marker to here so we know where I stopped. Although, I mean, hopefully next week. So if my calculations are correct, I will finish. I should, in theory, finish this, the main, the whole main body, including the end border for next week. And hopefully have at least the um, stitches picked up on one side. So that's very exciting. The side border is only four rows. So it's going to be a lot of stitches and the picking up of the stitches is going to be a bit of a chore. 
but once they're all picked up, the knitting shouldn't be that bad. It's just um, knit all rows, so it's just garter stitch on the border. So should be pretty easy once I get there. Okay, so you know what? I totally blew through all of this. Okay, so thing Fridays with Fred is. I bought this book, Knitting the Neighborhood, The Official Knitting Patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I'm making everything in this book. This is the third project. How are you guys helping me? Well, number one, you're cheering me on and giving the motivation to actually finish things. And number two, I don't care what order I make this stuff. It's all getting made. So you guys are voting and sending me off on my adventures. Um, so very soon, we're going to be voting on the fourth project. So there are, I think there are five different sections in the book but so I nominate four patterns because I don't want to repeat this is an accessory I don't want to do another accessory next month um so I'll nominate four patterns you guys vote you vote in the comments of the video I'll put a poll on my community tab and I'll have a poll in my Facebook group I tally all of those up whoever gets the most votes is who I make um and then you probably have to so we'll have I'll show you the finished project, the next week I'll do voting, and then the next week I'll announce the winner, and maybe I'll have the yarn collected. It depends if it's stuff I can pull from stash, or if it's something I need to go procure more things to finish. But, yep, yeah, so I get a little break in between projects while we do all of the logistics, and then I move on. Um... I think that's the gist of Fridays with Fred. But what is Things We're Making Thursday? Well, Things We're Making Thursday is normally on Thursday, but you do you. You do it whenever you can if you want to make videos. We don't care. It is the most relaxed collaboration I have ever seen. Um, basically, we're all making the same theme of items each month, and we're sharing it. Last year, it was a specific pattern we're making. Now, we're just doing a theme. So you can do whatever you want that fits within that theme. Um, I, the theme for May was household items. I chose to make washcloths and I'm going to send them off to Rose at Rose Lakes Crochet so she can get them to her friends who are collecting for homeless in the Chicago area. So this week I went, I know I was doing stitch samplers. I got in my head an idea for a Tunisian washcloth and I wanted to test it so I did three mock-ups and the third one I think is the nicest um but basically oh this end is okay I'll have to trim that um so I was going between Tunisian simple stitch and Tunisian knit stitch to kind of make this patterned washcloth so I have two that I made in this brown peaches and cream color. This one I was trying to um, see how many cast on stitches I liked. Um, I found I didn't like this many. I like this one. <laughs> but that's okay. So there's the second attempt. But this one, this one, if you look, it's a little, it's one row off. This one I fixed the one row off in this. So I got to combine it all into the third red one and it worked perfectly and I love it so I will at some point because I figured it out now do some sort of tutorial on this of course add it to the list of tutorials and things Aaron wants to do <laughs> uh, I want to do a lot I would love to do a lot for you guys but time is always against us and it's summer and the kids and the family come first. So we're hoping to take a couple of trips this summer. Um, so yeah, I do try to post every day, but the last couple of weeks I've not been able to do so between weather and internet issues. And frankly, sometimes just not feeling the greatest. <laughs> it's exhausting coming to the end of the school year. I so I have been blibber blabbering. I want to get this edited so I can get this uploaded. Oh, excuse me. So I can get working on my other slideshow. You guys cross your fingers. But like I said, this is the last day of school. We're going to celebrate chomps tonight. I highly doubt I will get it done. And 
like I said, apologies in advance, but we're going with the flow. That's what this is all about. Um, but I did hit my goal. So I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this monster one that I made first. Twelve washcloths to send off to Rose. Um, I did get some comments that people were thinking of sending the washcloths to me so I can get them out. You totally can. That's totally fine. My P.O. box is down below, but if you want to send them directly to Rose, that would be awesomer because, you know, it skips one step in the mail chain, but I don't... If it's easier for you to get my P.O. box and have me send them on, I can absolutely do that. Um, I believe Rose has her mailing information in pretty much all of her description boxes as well, but I gotta get these all... I'm not gonna block them. They're washcloths. I don't block washcloths, but get them all um, zip locked up so Rose does not potentially come into contact with any um, cat dander or fur. She's severely allergic. So if you do send your washcloths to me or if you send them to Rose, if you have a cat, mark it and bag it in Ziploc so she doesn't touch them, okay? Because we want to keep Rose safe. <laughs> We love Rose. We don't want to give her anaphylaxis. Um, but yeah, so that's what you do. Just write like, beware kitty, or I have a kitty, or I have a cat, or beware cat. Something so Rose knows. Okay, now I really am going to say goodbye and stop blabbering. Okay, talk to you later.